Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition. Um, it's been a while since I've done an episode. Of, I've had a lot of stuff to get on with and being so close to Christmas I've had a lot of um, family things to deal with and buying presents and all that sort of stuff. So I haven't had much of a chance to play but I'll finish work for Christmas soon and should have a lot of time to play. Alright so in the last episode we did the Undead Asylum, um, killed the stray demon, grabbed the peculiar doll and used it to come here, uh, Painted World. I really like this place. Um, I'm going to take my time in here though because it can be a bit tricky in certain bits. Um, there's a couple of sort of quick shortcuts you can take but I'm going to try not to use them. Now it's been a while since I played this so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. So expect some absolutely atrocious gameplay. I'll see how I do. Like you see, there's a lot of enemies here, so just take your time. Lure them out, a couple of archers. The archer up there, if you just dodge the arrow and rush him. Alright, these nasty things here, they can do a lot of damage to you. So I'm gonna take the chicken shit option. See when they um when they die they spit out all that red stuff that actually um puts you in toxic which is like the the more hardcore core version of um poison. Take shelf down pretty quick. Gotta try and explore everywhere, get everything. Um, you have to forgive me if I miss one or two things. Um, massively versed in this place. It's the sort of place that after you've finished it, you don't tend to come back to. But there is a good farming spot in this zone. difference the white rats are compared to the normal ones but don't give them a chance. I believe that item over there you need to get that from above. I don't think I can jump. Give it a go. Mm, failed. Try this one. Nope. No. Get it from above. That guy, the pain. You get ambushed by a couple here. And I'm in toxic. Damn it. Woohoo, just survived. Right. I'm going to retreat because I'm a chicken chip. Gotta get my health back if I've got something to toilet to kill the toxic. Use that. Which I don't. Ah. Oh, this makes this difficult. Well, I'm going to have to go back to the bonfire. I'm not going to run around this zone toxic. Sorry about that. Just going to have to take a um, step back. I'll be a bit more careful next Not sure if they respawn, I hope they don't. Yeah they do. 
Joyful, joyful. Shield out. <laughs> like I said, guys, a bit rusty. I'm going to be a bit stuck now. It takes two soul arrows to kill these guys. See if I can't cop him with the end of the sword. If I don't fall off. Oh, didn't die there. Oh, this is a bit of a shortcut. Before I die, I'm going to open up the doors. those doors open actually I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. Um we can do if you're if you're a human, I'm gonna kindle this as well so I'll use a twin. Um if you're a human um when you walk up to the next area the bit that I just opened the doors it actually spawns an NPC which you can kill. Um you get a pyromancy from him I think but that's gonna be a bit useless. get invaded in this zone it can be a bit of a pain. The enemies that invade or the, the people that invade you in this area they tend to be pretty good players. Alright so you run off to the right here. Yeah? few enemies kicking around this part. Whoa. Oh, fail. See, this is uh, it's what you get when you don't play the game for a while. To be honest, I'm being pretty reckless, to be honest, I should really guard and then um, fight back rather than try and take them head on. It's a lot easier if you do, just bounce straight off your shield. I'm 
Right, this NPC is a bit of a pain in the ass because he uses quite high level pyromancies which can do a lot of damage. He fall off. Hmm. Right, so if I remember rightly, you have to run down here to get him to spawn. Lucky enough, I just took a bit of splash damage from one of those AoEs. That's him dead. Get the notched whip. Oh, sorry, yeah, you get the notched whip. The pyromancy, I think, is around here. I believe it's fire whip. Acid surge, right? Maybe. If you're wrong. Right, I am a human now, so I can be invaded at any time. <laughs> um, this is, or can be, a pretty good farming spot for souls. If you've got a big, hard-hitting AoE, sort of like a pyromancer, so you can run in there and kill all those guys at once. Give you a big chunk of XP. Going to take a couple of detours. I believe you get jumped here. Stop being so reckless. <laughs> Get away from that archer. I think this is the underground bit. Where you fight the bone wheel skeletons. Yes it is. Right, be very careful down here. I'm gonna stick magic weapon on just so I can one shot him. The other is you have to run up to there's like a um a statue. Ooh. Sorry I'm concentrating. Things can be extremely deadly if you allow them to hit you a lot. Like that, see? I think that's all of them. Just going to go straight for the turnstile. That went without a hitch. Go back up. 
Now what that does, it turns, I, I skipped the cutscene so I wouldn't get attacked, but um, what that does is turns the statue above which opens up the door that allows you to go to the boss room. I'll show you where that is now. Um, yeah. See the statue in the middle is now turned and it's facing the door, but it activates all of those guys. I believe on one of these platforms there's a uh, guys that ambush you. things to deal with. Let's see if I can't lure him closer to me. Alright, now just down here is the actual boss room. Now the boss is not aggro when you walk in. You can even talk to her. Just a little tip for you. If you walk up here, that is the actual exit. If you walk off the edge of that platform, it takes you to the real world again. But if you quit out and quit back in, you can grab yourself an armor set which belonged to that NPC that invaded. Again though, not too useful for me, but I'm just going to grab it to show you where it is. Now this boss, um, after you hit her the first time she turns invisible, um, she walks around the room. The only way to see her is that you can see her footprints in the snow, like mine are appearing. You can see her footprints in the snow. Um, when she takes a set amount of damage she becomes visible again, but she's got some pretty nasty attacks with that scythe. Uh, sweeping attacks with quite a lot of range. So it's, it's trying to basically to judge the uh, where the footsteps are, like what way she's facing. Um, you can actually get a, um, a boss weapon, if you manage to cut off her tail, you um, you get a, a magic sword, I think, I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's meant to be pretty good, I've never been able to get it, I'm not going to try. So, uh, let's see how we do. I don't think I've got any... Hmm. Actually, if I equip my pine resin, I can use it as a quick buff. Right, let's go. I expected as much from thee. Why dost 
he hurried towards thine death. Now, like I says, watch the floor. See the footsteps there. There you go, she took some damage. Becomes visible again. I believe she's got a lifesteal ability. Blood loss. <laughs> I'm going to try again now. Uh, fully buffed up. Ready to go. It appears the magic damage makes quite a bit of difference, which is nice. Just got to try and uh, avoid that blood loss. again. It's not worth running because you'll get surrounded and you'll end up dying. And I don't really want to lose those souls that are in that room. Well, I'm not sure if the boss is going to be instant aggro. Hope not. <laughs> Visible again. Run away. 
point. done. Right, now you can walk up to here and it chucks you out. Don't be fooled, even though that just gave you a homeward bone, do not use it because it will take you back to the painted world and it won't allow you to warp out again. From then from then on, every time you go to the painted world now, the only way to get out is um, the thingy, the exit through the boss room, no, you, you fall down. Soul items to use. Um, see how much I can level up. Alright, I'm not going to use Priscilla's soul, so I'll look for a weapon or anything, so I'm just going to use it up, get the souls from it. amount of souls now. Let's level up. Alright, how many levels can I actually give myself? Six. Um hmm. I'm gonna take uh take them actually in intelligence. That way, when I get crystal magic weapon, I should be able to use it pretty much straight away. Um, well, I haven't been timing this, so I don't know how long this episode is, but I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, pretty successful. I mean, I died a couple of times from being silly, but um, I was a tad out of practice. But, um, yeah, pretty successful. So, I'll post another episode up soon, and thanks for watching.